Hi guys, how's it going today? It's January 29 and I want to go over Ethereum. If you guys enjoy these videos of mine, I'd really appreciate an upload on Steemit. And make sure you also like, subscribe, and share it to the stuff on YouTube and on Twitter as well. Keep in mind guys that these are always just my opinion, okay? And we're always going to have some hatred in the community, right? I mean, I do have about 50,000, 60,000 followers on YouTube, Reddit, uh, Steemit, uh, Twitter, like all the social media is combined now, so there will be some negativity, and I don't take that uh, badly at all, okay? I take criticism very well, regardless if it's bad or good, but always keep in mind as well that I want to focus on positivity, right? So if your comments are going to be very rude, or your tweets are going to be very rude on YouTube and on Twitter, um, of course I'm going to consider, consider disabling them, right? Because we don't want to encourage negativity in the community. We want a community that's very positive, that can thrive, that can flourish, and has like-minded people with the same type of goals. So I just want to, I always want to talk a little bit about my day as well, right? I had a massive issue with um, Steam it there. I ran out of Steam. Okay, I, I ran out of Steam power apparently and I got bandwidth blocked. So and and my Bitfinex, it actually I disabled my withdraw on there, right? So I had to go to Poloniex there. I had to sell some of my SIA, which I really didn't want to do. And then I had to send Bitcoin to my Steam account there to power myself up because you couldn't even power up here in any way whatsoever. So don't think that I'm a whale or anything on Steam, it guys. It's just a bonus, right? I only got $700 on Steam right now. And maybe one day it'll, it'll reward me when I give back to the community, right? The community will give back to me. So it's just a way of giving and taking and reciprocating the respect to each other. And since it especially doesn't cost anyone anything at all. So please don't think that I'm any type of whale. So I've been following the comments on YouTube and some people have thought that I'm a perma bull on Ethereum. Well, you can't really say that I'm a perma bull, guys, on here, um, right? Because first of all, my last video, <laughs> like if you guys look at it, it said provided no wave failures. Not only that, I always like to call the predict the, the targets for correction as well. So I mean, can you really say I'm perma bull when I say the top is near? Correction target 1025 and T2, which I said not likely at 850. But um, guess what, guys? We actually hit $770 for Ethereum there, right? So not, don't don't think that I'm perma bull, guys. I'm, um, I'm very logical and rational when it comes to my positions. And because I'm holding a very large amount of Ethereum right now, I want to make sure that you guys are also going to get inside of my head. And I also want to make sure that I let everybody know how I plan to manage my position. Since Ethereum is um, is high stakes for me, guys. I've been invested in it for a very long time. I've never day traded Ethereum. It's only one of those coins I like to buy on a dip and hold. And I don't really invest much whatsoever. So I was talking in my last video about a wave failure, okay? The only way for us to hit 1370 is provided that these right here these right here don't fail now regardless of if it hits 1370 or not i've been in this play for a while guys and i'll be very honest with you i bought ethereum for about a thousand dollars on on uh, actually 1025 on average that's what my average price actually got out to guys believe it or not so we ask ourselves was it a really good risk to reward scenario to take so regardless of if i'm bull or bear on it or if it corrects or not during that specific time when it broke out right like that where i entered around say 1025 my average price here will say put my stop loss say around 975 and i was shooting for this first target right there i mean we're talking about a risk to reward here of 4.44 and at a 1618 extension for the end of the wave there i'd be silly not to take this risk to reward guys at, at, uh, at 6.09 and I'd also be even sillier not to take this risk to reward here where it could possibly hit 1750 based on extrapolation so regardless of if it gets there or not I mean we're talking a risk to reward of 13 okay 13 to 1 risk to reward so all the people that think oh that have said to me very negatively oh good luck being locked into your long position well it's not like that guys you don't just buy into one position and just hope for the best. You have to manage your position by adding more, by, by selling some off, by just shedding your risk, by adding more risk, by taking more on, etc. Right? So at that specific time, wonderful risk to reward. Why would I and why have not why would not any good traders take it? Okay. So we have to understand modes of failure and how impulse waves can fail, right? 
I understand that really good analysts as well, like Hygen, have said that this is possibly B. But Hygen is not doing this Elliott wave count right here, okay? He's not doing this Elliott wave count like this, guys. We have to understand this right here, okay? That this is one, all, all of one basically, okay? This is two. Hygen calls this three, and he calls this four, and he calls that five. I'm going to debate this right now in front of all of you guys. This is not possible to be a third subwave. It is literally impossible because there's no way you can even count this properly, okay? This would mean that this would be 1 right here. This would be 2. That would be 3. That would be 4. And that would be 5 right there, okay? That's not how you can possibly count that in my honest opinion. So even if he counted here, for example, it's very, very off as well. So I don't mean to disagree with him, but uh, this is a very, very off count as well if he did it like that for subwave 3. The only way that makes sense, and I kid you not that many, many top analysts agree as well, that they see this last wave right here. Go check out Trading Devil. Check it out, guys. Trading Devil. Now, this is the fifth peak right there. And I do strongly see this as an ABC termination point right there. I strongly see this right here, okay guys? As much as I would love to see this as B, we are getting some very clean impulse waves up right now. And it's hard for me to not believe that this is going to be an attempt. Now let's talk about my criteria to hit 1750, okay? My criteria to hit 1750 is that 1100 must hold. The moment that we dip to 1090, boom, I will close all of my 120 Ethereum positions and take profit of $100 on each one, and I will be more than happy still, okay? But I will not hold any of my Ethereum if it actually does break down to... I'm oh, sorry for saying that so casually. I shouldn't have talked about my position size there. Um, geez, I'm too lazy to edit the video. I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, so we have a subwave 1, 2, 3, and 4 right up here, okay? So if this wave 4 right here retraces to even, you know, 1090, I'm out. I'm out, guys. It has to be by more than by just a wick only. It has to have strong support, okay? 1100 is my magic number. I want to be very, very clear about that to everyone. These criteria must hold where that this box right there needs to act as a support, okay? And this subwave one needs to act as a support. You guys want to see an amazing analyst? And I have to admit that I think he is a genius, okay? You guys need to see one of the most amazing analysts out here as well. Well, not as well, but you guys need to go to Trading Devil. And I'm giving him props right now and shout out. He's been, uh, he's had this channel up for a long time now and he's only got 7,000 views. If you guys want to see Elliott Wave on the most detailed level that you can possibly see, to my standards, Hygen is alright, okay, but he only does it on a very big scale. Go check out his Elliott Wave analysis of Ethereum USD, okay? And it will blow you, blow your mind how much him and I agree with each other right now, okay? Now, let's talk about this right here. This right here needs to hold, okay? It's a critical number, guys. If it doesn't hold, once again, I will sell off my position. Now, if that holds, then we must have a very clean subwave 3, and this retracement can no, re can no longer retrace by more than this channel. This slope trendline support needs to hold, okay? So we, were, we had a phenomenal risk-to-reward ratio. We took it. Now we're waiting to see what could this could possibly hit and we need to be extremely patient all right i'm not going to close any of my positions like not not most of it right now or anything because i want to wait until this 1100 magical number so i will be following up on ethereum every single day for the next few days because i want to see if this is going to create a failed impulse wave or not and as a trader or even a short-term investor like how I'm doing right now, you guys need to acknowledge that there could possibly be modes of failure. So we took the chance, all right? The entry was too late if you guys got in here or here or anything, okay? The entry point was right here. The entry point was right there at the apex that I've been calling for a few days now. 
and the next entry point is eleven hundred dollars if it holds so i want to tell you guys as a friend and not as a financial advisor is that you guys see my video and you see something like oh 1750 target possibility do not dare enter that trade until you've watched it fully and until you understand the risks involved of entering as soon as you see a bullish call. You need to understand that it most likely happened already, which is why I made the video, right? I made the video earlier of this one saying that it, it could be traced to about 1100 and you guys need to understand that this is a really good place to enter if it holds. So don't ever enter a trade blindly. I don't want to see you guys do that, all right? So these are my quick thoughts on Ethereum. This trend line needs to hold right there, okay? It needs to hold. 1100 needs to hold as well. If it doesn't, I promise you guys that I will close all of my Ethereum position right there and I won't even hesitate because I'll be very happy with the $100 per Ethereum that I have already up on. So these are my quick thoughts. I want to clarify that I am not a perma bull on here whatsoever, okay? I'm not a perma bull, guys. I want to make sure that we rationalize everything in high detail. So right now, I see it breaking already above the 618 Fibonacci level, okay? Look at this, guys. I see it breaking above the 618 Fibonacci level, right? Now it's breaking back down. It had resistance at the 786 level, but because it was able to break the 618 level, I just simply assumed that this was the third subwave here and the fourth is still coming down right now. So please stay tuned with me, guys. I appreciate all of your patience and especially your positivity. And do me a favor, guys focus on being positive okay if you have a comment that's very asinine that you want to make trust me it's not even worth your energy to make it guys you have to stay positive and be a role model and lead by example in this community if everybody adopted the same type of mentality of wanting to improve the community i assure you that we're all going to get there much quicker so for the people that have left very negative comments towards me i want to let you guys know that it doesn't bother me one bit whatsoever in fact it does the complete opposite Every time I think to myself, what kind of person do I not want to be? I think about all the people who leave very nasty comments and tweets towards me, right? I want to make sure that I understand that I'm above that and I want to be a much better person to the community than all these this negativity that's going on right now. So together, maybe we can get there, right? So adopt a very positive attitude of being open-minded and please also make sure we understand that waves of failure or sorry modes of failure and impulse waves can absolutely fail and my job as a trader who does this 16 hours a day as you guys know seven days a week i don't even see this as a job as you guys all know i see this as a hobby which i'm quite addicted to and i'm getting better every day and i keep to hope improving my skills right so I try to cover things from every single scenario, both bull and bears. And as I always say, I, I wait for confirmation and I also make sure that I cover all scenarios and be reactive rather than predictive. So I set myself a lot of rules and guidelines of criteria that must be met. Otherwise, I will change my decision in a heartbeat. And once again, the criteria that needs to be met for this Ethereum 1750 uptrend is a bounce that is coming up in the next few days by the end of the month. Okay, guys, $1,100 is my key number. It can get to $1,185 maybe, I'll hold tight a little bit, but it's got to be a wick and I got to show some sort of rejection there. So these are my quick thoughts with Ethereum. I hope it has helped you in one way or another. And I really appreciate all the positivity, support, and love that you guys have given me so far. And I hope that I hope to... Uh, continue releasing amazing content down the road and i hope that it will satisfy your needs as well and we and we just keep improving the community so once again please upload on steam it i really appreciate that guys because i'm such a whale on there you know like check this out guys like i'm a whale i'm, I'm such a whale uh, everybody's been saying to me that i'm promoting steam it because i'm a whale guys i got 700 dollars in steam okay i'm the whale this is just a bonus it's just a bonus of respecting each other and re reciprocating that love. So have yourselves a great day and I will be sure to update this Ethereum in a few days as well. So take care now. Bye.